In this tutorial, we'll look at how to add and initialize a Toast component in Bootstrap 5 on page load. Okay, so I have a simple example project here. And let's say that in the right bottom corner here, we want um, a Toast on the page load, right? So what I would do is I would go to documentation and I would copy one of their basic examples because, you know, with these components of Bootstrap, you're not going to be able to remember all the classes and everything. So it's better to just go to the documentation and copy their examples and then modify it to get exactly what you want so that's what i'm gonna do now be very careful when you google for bootstrap docs the first link is actually linking to an older version 4.1 we're in version 5 now right so also make sure that you're linking to the correct javascript and css right so if you go to the home page they always show you the latest version and these are the two links right so the javascript these days already includes the popper uh, library right okay so i would go here toasts and i would see examples and let's say we just want this basic example so i'm just going to copy this and i'm just going to paste it here in my html right so i have saved here if i refresh now we won't see it because we haven't triggered it right so now we're going to use javascript to actually show it on the page right so i have uh, I've, I'm linking to my script file here. I'm using the defer attribute, right? Because it's in the head and it comes after the bootstrap JS. So then in here, what we can do is we need to get a reference to that toast element, right? So here, this is toast. We need to get a reference to that. So we can say const my toast or something. And then it looks a little bit strange, but we're going to use the bootstrap class, right? So this is like object oriented code, which is not that common anymore in front end development, especially in JavaScript in general, actually. So this may look a little bit strange, but this bootstrap is available because the script before here is already linking, is has already created that, right? So make sure you get the order right. If you use defer, it respects the order, right? So it's really important that you have mastered the underlying fundamentals like JavaScript and also CSS. If you want to take those skills to an advanced professional level, then definitely check out my courses. The links are in the description, right? So I'm saying new bootstrap uh, dot toast. So now I can use this my toast to call uh, methods on there like show, right? If it's already shown and we want to hide it, we can also call hide, but here we want to show. And let's say we want to show when, you know, or let's say just after one second, actually. So we can just use one set timeout after one second, 1000 milliseconds. We can say my toast dot show, right? So let's see if this works. I'm going to refresh here. And after one second, we see the toast message and um, the toast message. Well, we see this image here because in the example, they, their source is just not valid. So I'm actually just going to remove the entire image here, right? So after one second, this is what we see. It looks a little bit strange because now it's not positioned properly. It's actually pushing everything down, right? And after some time it disappears. Now let's say we want to position it at the bottom right corner here, right? So what we would do is we would use position fixed because when we scroll, we still want it to scroll with us. Right. So what we can do is we can just use one of the classes from Bootstrap called position fixed, and that will actually well use position fixed. Actually, that's not a big deal. But then we also need to select it manually in our CSS. And we have to say it should sit 15 pixels from the bottom, let's say, and also 15 pixels from the right. And let's see what we get in that case. So after one second, now it sits here, right? And scrolls with us. But you can see it goes below other elements, right? So what you may also want to do is set a very high Z index so that it's always on top of other elements. So let's see. Yeah, so now it's on top, right? So that's a pretty cool basic example, right? So you can also, also see with CSMs, you really need to, you know, master the underlying fundamentals if you want to work with Bootstrap or the front end in general. So definitely check out my courses on JavaScript and CSS, right? And there are other things you can do with Toasts as well. For example, um, if you don't want the toast to disappear after some time, you want it to stay there, there are certain options that you can use. So here you can use data BS auto height, right? So this is, this is set to true initially, but let's say you don't want that. So you can use, let's see, data BS, right? So we're in bootstrap five. So these data attributes have BS in them and then it's auto height. So we can say auto height is false, right? So when we do that, let's see, I refresh here so now we have our toast and let's see it should stay here right so it should not disappear and it looks like it's staying with us right so it, now it doesn't disappear anymore the user actually has to click here to make it disappear right and you have um, other options as well like animation and maybe you want to disable that and a delay um you know if you actually do want it to be hidden after some time you can decide 
after how much time. And there are other methods as well, like height, right? You can also programmatically hide the, the, the toast. Let's see. You can hook into the events that get fired, right? There's a more advanced uh, use case. Let's see. There are other customizations that we can make here as well, right? So here for the styling, um, they are tr slightly translucent. So they're, they're, um, it's like their opacity has been reduced a little bit. So you can see what's, what's behind them, basically. This is an interesting use case. So sometimes you have multiple, um, you know, announcements or or whatever you want to display to the user and you have multiple of them so what you can do is you can create a toast container and um, in there it will automatically get some spacing between them right so you can have two toasts with the toast container around them and you're gonna get that spacing um, of course you can always change the inner html right and you will get something more sim simple perhaps that's what you want you can change the colors um, here they talk about placement now there are a couple of ways of doing this actually and you can read all about that here but um, this is all pretty straightforward so that it contains the area attributes as well in the examples at least if you want to change the um, the colors here you actually have to use the um, npm way of including the bootstrap library right so you have to work with the source code which is in sas which by the way sas is also taught in my css course it's actually quite important that you uh, learn it as a front-end developer i think and um, here it shows you another way of triggering the toast right so maybe you want to trigger the toast on a certain button click for example right? or you 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 want to we, you want to dismiss it right or outside the toast right so you can dismiss the toast as well by clicking on some other element on the page by the way if this was helpful i'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe also check out my courses on css and javascript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master css or javascript and i will also release other courses soon like react and node.js so if you want to be notified then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter you can find the link in the description thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon